wanted facial hair. Everybody. That's why today I wanted to talk to you guys about waxing. I wanted to give you tips on how to wax your own eyebrows or other unwanted facial hair. And for all you guys out there wondering why you're watching a tutorial on waxing eyebrows, I brought along some beautiful friends of mine. The beautiful Carly Styles, <laughs> Alana, and the gorgeous hey, Brett. Brett. I'm Brett. Woo. I don't know who that kid is. <laughs> I wanted to give even you guys out there some tips on trimming it up because nobody wants to date a unibrow. Let's be honest. Okay, so most of the supplies that I use, I just got at Sally Beauty Supply, but you can get them at other beauty supplies. Um, I just use a wax there that is the Gigi, I think that's how you say it. It's just the same wax that I've always used, so that's what I just keep using. And as far as wax strips goes, I really like the muslin wax strips, but um, I'm out of those. And so I just cut up some pieces of fabric. You can get pieces of muslin fabric at... The, just at a fabric store and just use those and it's it's a lot more inexpensive. But first of all, we're going to start off by using baby powder. And what? baby powder protects the skin. My favorite tool to use to apply the wax is just a regular orange wood stick. And the reason that I like this is because it's a little more durable, but it still has pointy edges. And I know that a lot of other people use toothpicks, but they're a little bit too flimsy. And then if you have any unwanted wax left over when you're done, you can always use any kind of oil that you have around. This is my favorite hair oil, so I just use it for everything. And you're just going to want to rub it on the wax that's left over, and it's going to take that off. And we're going to start out with baby powder, and you're going to put a thin layer of that on the areas that you want to wax. Okay, so like I said, apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth. And apply the wax strip. And rip it off in the opposite direction. And apply pressure. Sneak her. <laughs> Am I pretty yet? Alright, Brett, here we go. Mmm, it's so soft and comfortable. <laughs> fall asleep right here. Uh-oh. So nice. It's just, that smells nice. Ah! We should get Kaylee's evil little face when she rips it off. Yeah, she enjoys this. I don't think this is about the eyebrows. <laughs> it's kind of fun, huh? Nope. Okay, so we got a little bit of wax oh, in Brent's yeah. eyebrow. And on purpose don't... to show you what we do in this Absolutely situation. Absolutely on purpose. So again, I'm just going to take this oil and rub a little bit on there. And that's gonna just help that slide out. Thanks, Kayla. Yeah. Okay, boys. So this is this part is for you. Um, girls do this too, but I know a lot of boys don't know how to do this. So when you're gonna trim your eyebrow hairs, but you're gonna want to brush them up, and sometimes they'll stick up there, and you can just go right along your eyebrow and trim that up. But Brett's don't stay up, so we're gonna. Comb that up. So we're gonna use hair gel. And <laughs> you're gonna comb that up and just trim along the top of your comb. What and if I then, sneeze right when you have the scissors in my eyes? That would be bad. I wouldn't do it. Another thing that you're gonna want to do is brush them down and then again carefully go along the bottom and trim that. <laughs> Kaylee's so gentle, huh? Mm -hmm. When you start waxing, you're gonna want to take your cuticle stick and measure from your nose in, and that is where you're gonna to wanna to start waxing. So you're gonna to wanna to apply the wax from this point over, and from this point over. And then you're gonna take your eyebrow stick, and you're gonna place it right here, and you're gonna take it right through there. And that is where you want your arch to be. And it's important to keep your arch as high as possible, because that's kind of like a little facelift. And when you're waxing up above, Make sure that you don't take that too far down and take that the tip of your arch off because that's pretty and, and brings your face up. Okay, now take the cuticle stick and go at the bottom of your nose and at the edge of your eye and that's where you're going to want your eyebrow to end. Is this scary? I have never waxed my eyebrows. I'm so happy that ever I'm here first. So with people like Alana, she doesn't have a lot of extra growth and so it's not really necessary to, like, to keep it up to do it a lot, but it is gonna make your makeup go on a lot smoother, your eyeshadow. So that's why a lot of people who don't have a lot of extra hair get their eyebrows waxed, because just those fine little um, blonde hairs can kind of make them build, make the makeup build up. Oh my gosh. Grip the seat. Okay, let's get a little yell. Shut your eyes. Ow. 
Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I've never done this in my life. Nick has never waxed his eyebrows either. So boys, if you are just feeling like you have a little bit of a unibrow, just go to the salon and have them just wax the middle. Not that you really even have a unibrow. Nick's first time, yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's not that bad. She has a really bad okay. unibrow. Will you max for next? <laughs> Okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you have any other questions about waxing, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer all of them. We'll see you next week with red lips. <laughs>